Hey guys, to those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Queen. <coughs> Excuse me. And it seems like I'm catching my son's coughing spell. But I, my name is Queen, and um, I have a channel here on YouTube called Queen Natural Beauty. Um, on the channel, it has gone through different phases. Um, started out about business and then I opened a beauty spa which sold weight loss products um, in 2011 I lost 60 pounds and um, I documented some of them on another weight loss channel I had but I don't remember the login information and then um, the final maybe 20 or 30 pounds on the actual Queen Natural Beauty channel didn't want to intertwine the Queen Natural Beauty with that and it ended up getting intertwined so on that channel, I have people who are there for my life coaching, people who are there um, talking about natural hair, people who are there about weight loss. Um, since then, that was 2011. Today is December 31st. Technically, looking for my phone, technically is January the 1st. Let's see if you guys can see this. Hopefully you can. Technically... It's January 1st, 2013. It's 108 in the morning. So in my head, it's still like December 31st. And, you know, I really don't like doing the cliche thing, you know, doing a weight loss goal at the first of the year. It's really just coincidental. Um, on my other channel, I'm, I'm choosing a separate channel for it for several reasons. Number one, because I want to stick to that channel being my life coaching and my motivational things for um, entrepreneurs and thing, people who want to um, up their value. And number two, because uh, here I go with this transparency. To be honest, it's slightly embarrassing that the girl who has a weight loss clinic um, has a problem keeping her ish in check a few months ago i went on a water fast i realized i am a food addict i went on a water fast and when i came off the water fast i um went vegan earlier in 2012 i was a raw vegan for about six to eight weeks i want to say six weeks and got off that when i had a spell where i pretty much um Unconscious is a strong word, but I fainted on, on the plane. And so I was forced to eat cakes and stuff. I didn't have any business. And slowly over the choice over that week, I began to eat a regular standard American diet again. Honestly, I felt so much better when I was raw. That point in 2012, which was right at a year I started that, um, at the end of December, the 1st of January. At that point in 2012, I was in a totally different situation. I was in another state. Um, I'm not going to go into t so many details, but right now things are so stressful for me and a lot of things I can't necessarily control. And so this is going to be much more difficult because I am a stress eater and I'm in a situation and I don't necessarily want to be in at the moment and it's stressful and um yeah so um it was much easier for me to go raw then like i didn't have any slip ups went straight so anyway when i finished the water fast i went vegan i was gonna go raw and that was definitely my intention but i struggled um with the raw for several reasons um, including the time preparation, um, time restraints, other people eating your food, a whole bunch of different stuff. So, um, I remained vegan, but in the last couple months, I've eaten a lot of pasta, a lot of bread, you know, and people don't realize you can be vegan and still be overweight. You can be vegan and gain weight because of the breads and the sugars and you hold on to, but hey i'm not eating meat 
<clears throat> for those who don't know, I'm not vegan for like any animal rights. So I'm not saying, well, I am saying I won't eat meat again. Let's hope that sticks. But um, it's not animal rights. It's a choice um, as far as health. Want to be really as healthy as possible. Um, on this channel, just in case some people from Queen Natural Beauty finds it, um, probably due to sheer embarrassment of gaining so much weight back, I don't really want to announce my weight. I will tell you my starting weight. It's so funny because I'm like, I don't want to tell you, but when you see pictures, it's like, bitch, you fat. <laughs> Oh my God, I cannot believe I'm making this video. I cannot believe I'm on this show. I'm talking about this. The truth is, I need to be accountable. And it was much easier for me to stick to a weight loss plan in 2011. Because, did I start? What's funny, I always start around December. This is the first time I started on in January, but that one started in December 2010, actually. Now that I think about it, I started the week before Christmas. So when Christmas came, everyone was eating. I was like, not. So, um, anyway. I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, it's 1 in the morning. It's now 1.13. I'm so rambling. To those who don't know me, I'm a rambler. But anyway... Um, it's embarrassing that a person who has helped other people lose hundreds of pounds is struggling to keep it together. And when I had the other channel, yeah, back in December of 2010, when I started it, it seems easier to stick to it. I don't know if because people were watching or why it seemed easier to stick to, but it was so my sole purpose in this channel is for accountability accountability even if not one person ever sees these videos accountability for me to go back and look and I know it's out there and accessible and when you put it out there it can get got so yeah this is day one so I guess technically it's January 1st, 2013. And I'm almost, I'll say this, my highest weight when I started, oh, hell no. I'm really almost, oh, wow. When I started in December of 2010, I think I was 278 pounds. My lowest weight was 212, which was March of 2011. And I maintained it for a while. Just slowly started gaining it back. Um, and then, yeah. know that I'm within 10 or 15 pounds of my highest weight. How embarrassing is that? Anyway, so it's January 1st, but I actually started on the 31st. So what I'm doing People are going to ask. And I really am a rock star loser, weight loss loser. I really am. My strength is starting really, really strong for a couple months. I'm a soldier starting strong. It's the finish. You know how the tortoise and the hare, how the tortoise like ran, ran, ran. But tired out at the end, that's me. I remember at one point last year, I started working out. Who starts working out from a sedentary lifestyle? Running four miles. Like, I was on fire. Knees hurting, ankles hurting, swollen the next day. It only lasted a couple weeks. <laughs> My goal on the business side 
my coaching side, my life side of what I talk about on Queen Natural Beauty, on Facebook, um, and my entrepreneurs groups, um, is consistency. You know, it, it rings true that when you're not consistent in one area, it's likely you're not consistent in other areas as well. And I'm not consistent when it comes to weight loss, hair, beauty, makeup, just issues with consistency and my intention. I don't set goals. My intention for 2013 is to be consistent be consistent with the way I start out. I want to finish that way. I want to finish strong. I'm going to start strong, finish strong. So, hopefully, you know, I looked at those pictures from the Queen. We do a conference every year called the Queen's Connection Conference. And I looked at those con those pictures she posted some on Facebook today. And and even recognized myself, my face. I mean, I always had a fat face. But I didn't really recognize myself. It was like extra swollen and I probably was ten pounds smaller and that was in August. So what I'm gonna do there is a lady that lost a ton of weight on here. Her name is Impatient Dieter. And it's a bunch of people who lost a ton of weight. You know, one of, one of my, um, I call her my big sis, but she a little younger than me. Nina, beautiful brown baby doll. Um, we got Diva Slims down. What's Diva real name? Ruth. Um, a lot of people lost weight. But Impatient Dieter stood out to me for, you know, some reasons, including that she documented her journey daily on Facebook, I mean YouTube. And problem is when people know you, that's why I'm doing the second channel. I'm not telling anybody about it. I'm just kind of putting it out. So I'm, I'm really kind of embarrassed. I'm not kind of embarrassed. I am, nope, no, no self degradation talk. No, no, you're not embarrassed. You're, you're great. You look great. You are great. You're just reaching for a healthier you. Stephanie, healthier you. Healthier you. Healthier you. Okay, guys. Woo, pull this together. Some I felt myself feeling sorry for myself. So let's pull it back together. It's a girl, Impatient Dieter. She documented her journey. Impatient Dieter has been gone from YouTube for a couple years now. Um, But her thing took six or seven months and she went from like almost where I am I want to say she was about the way that I am now down to um 160s in her 160s and she just had a bad body small waist big hips and that's kind of my natural body build is I have big hips big big breasts things of that nature anyway I'm gonna hurry this video up I don't like who does a 15 20 minute first video that's how you know, like, I'm a veteran YouTuber when I can just talk, just talk, just talk. Anyway, I am inspired by Impatient Dieter to track my progress every day. This will be an example of consistency because I've tried that on my other channel several times and it lasts a week. So we'll see. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm going. No. I will do it. Not I'm going to try and we'll do it. So because it's one now 121 and um, I don't really feel like taking my clothes off and all that. I actually took some pictures the other day of me with a dress on with my shirt pulled up. Who does that? And I am going to use that as my before picture and I'll show um, just a couple of plus size pictures. And then I'll be back tomorrow so it'll still be the first but i do it in the evening it's gonna put me behind because it feels like it's the 31st but i'm about to go to sleep and wake up it's gonna feel like the first so this is my first video technically posted on the first but really early in the morning and then i'll do another one with this evening and then i'll keep them up 
every day. Happy New Year. And I look forward to this journey and look forward to seeing what I look like this time next year.